I've actually, I've actually just moved to Melbourne, right? Which, because uh, I love it here. I love, I love Adelaide. This is where I want to like f everything, right? And it's not a thing, right? But like, I love it here, and I've moved over to a place that is based. I've, I've gone from here to a shithole in 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 Melbourne, right? I live in a flat where it literally, it literally, it wouldn't look out of place in a chasing from the bill, right? Like every time I go to take out my bins, I just expect someone to go, "Leave it out, you copper toilet," right? I just, ugh. It's horrible. And I, I was sitting there the other day, and um, I, it was the middle of the day, everyone else had gone to work, and out of nowhere I heard this, right? I heard, just this, I heard, ah! Like that. I know, it's fucking scary, isn't it? Like, oh, I did a little bit of, huh? yeah. I, and then nothing, like there was no like, there was no like resolution or redemption. It, was like, it wasn't like a, ah, cherry. It was nothing like that. It was just, ah! like that. And that, that freaked me out because I, I, that my first instinct, right, was to help, right? Because, you know, I'm, I'm from a small town, I'm in the big city, I've got this kind of Superman and Clark Kent thing going on, you <laughs> probably noticed. Okay, um, and, and so I wanted to, but I didn't. And I didn't for three reasons, right? These, these were the reasons. The first one was, um, well, I live in a flat, like, in amongst 200, so I can't go around knocking on doors going, hello, is there a vulnerable woman inside? Right, that's not a nice thing to do to anyone. That's probably how this whole business got started in the first place, so. Let's not do that. Second of all, there could be an axe murder trying to escape. I don't want to be in the way of that. And thirdly, uh, it's only Victorian, so who gives a shit, right? <laughs> so here's what I did. I just waited. I waited for like an ambulance or a cop or a today, tonight, something to do with the body. <laughs> Nothing came. I'd say, here, here, is, here is my living arrangement now that I've left Adelaide, which I love. I, I now... I got from Adelaide, I love Adelaide, and now I either live next to a premature screamer or a rotting corpse. That's my life now. That's what I have to deal with. I don't know about you, but I just feel really uncomfortable knowing that potentially I live next to a, a, a premature screamer, right? I don't want to do that. I don't want to live next to someone who screams if they're not being attacked by an axe. If they're just like, oh, we're a bit out of toothpaste. Ah! I don't want that. Andrew, I've decided I won't take the deal. Ah! I don't want that. She sees me practicing this joke at home. It's like an Inception joke, I think. <laughs>